Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today's topic is another feature uh, which is which will be quite helpful whenever you are working on Power BI, and it will be helpful on a day-to-day -day basis also, right? Some of the requirement will come into picture like this. This is the scenario which I am planning to discuss today. The scenario is called the disconnected slicer. Okay, the concept is disconnected slicer. How you can do it and how can you write the measure so that it will be getting connected and it will give you the correct result. We will see everything. Okay. So basically first let's set up the, the requirement first. So here I have basic very basic model. Okay. So like product sales date and all these things and I have some couple of measures and I have just created the total sales as well. So this is just the normal sales. Okay. Fine. So now what I will do here is that first of all. Let's take a clustered column chart. Okay, clustered column chart here. Let's put it here somewhere. Okay. So let me take full space here. And I want to build the custom column chart based on my product segment. Okay, so segment will be my x six and my the measure is something like based on the total sales. So this is fine. Now I will just do the sorting bit. Uh, just first I will do the ascending sort, sort axis by ascending. Okay, and ascending by the segment, sort axis by segment rather than by total axis. All right. So this is the two sort I have done it. Now I will take one slicer on top of this page. Just put it here, little bit. Yes, I think this will be good. On this one, I need to take the filter as segment. Okay. Instead of showing up in a, the vertical way, I'll go to my slicer setting. Instead of the vertical, I will say tile. So it will give just like this one. Okay. And little bit here and there formatting, I'll just do it on the background. Okay. Instead of black color, we'll take this color. So this is the setup we have done it now question is so whenever I'm clicking on any filter or any slicer of the segments right first point is that my below chart is getting filtered based on the selection of the slicer which is obviously because the segment is coming from the product and the total sales is based on that and product and sales in my relationship model right so they are connected so if you see this is the product table and this is my sales table. So it is connected in one to many relations. So that's why whenever any column we are taking from the product, it is just getting filled. That is obvious case. The first point is that I don't want this behavior to be happening. So it means that whenever I'm clicking on anything, it should give me all the all the segment instead of filtering based on that. This is the first requirement I need to achieve here. Okay, that is the, that concept is called your disconnected slicer. So how to achieve this? So since this product segment is coming from product and this table is connecting to sales. So what I'll do is that I will take only the segment column to a, another table, which will hold only the segment information and which will not connect it to any of the uh, table in the data model. Okay. So that in that way, I can create the disconnected slicer. So how we'll do it. Let's go to the data table here and create a new table here. Okay, I say segment slicer because I need to use in the slicer only, right? So I will take the values of segment, sorry, product segment. This is the one. So what will happen if you take the values, right? It will take the distinct values of all the product segment and it will create a table. The name of segment slicer all right now if you go to the data model now if you see the segment slicer table this is my table right which is there but it will be never connected to any of the model inside my relationship which will be isolated this is called your what this is called your disconnected slicer now what i will do i will go to my report instead of pulling the filter or the slicer from product table which is my segment I just close it out 
and I will take this sorry this uh, the slicer I will take from the table which we just now I created right the, the segment slicer table from there I will take my segment sorry, not here just need to select this one and I need to take this okay so now if you see this now try to click on something youth nothing will happen to my visualization because these are not connected the first part we achieved it okay now the thing is next part is I suppose I have selected let's take productivity okay so what I need is that I should get all the products all the segments in my visualization and along with that it will just take a difference of the total sales of productivity with other segments and how much the difference is coming whether it is a minus it is a plus or based on that I want to just showcase something inside my this table okay so let's take productivity is 100 million okay and let's take uh, extreme is uh, on that point it is 170 million so it is 70 million more than productivity so that difference I want to see and along with that I want I want to see all the segment in my basic chart which is the cluster column chart all right so how we will do this let's try to build a measure here okay I will give the name called total sales by segment okay so first of all um, first point first is that whatever I am selecting here suppose I am selecting productivity that I want to capture inside my uh, inside my measure first point is that okay so how we will capture that so whatever I am selecting I will say I will take a variable okay b underscore segment let's check b underscore segment so whatever I am selecting from the slicer that I want to capture the function would be selected value so whatever I am selecting from the slicer that will be contained as a selected value from which column I will take segment from the slicer table rather than the product, product table because this because the slicer is based on from my segment slicer table right so this is okay so this is this is clear right any questions okay now next I want to do is that I will say where uh, I want to just calculate the total V underscore total sales uh, total sales uh, for segment something like that okay total sales per segment something like that yeah for segment I can say for segment okay Something very big name I don't have a proper name now but it's fine so I will do calculate I'll see the total sales I want to calculate here based on what the filter I want to take I have the selection which I am doing inside a variable that I want to compare with the segment journal so let's take segment is something like this product segment it is coming equals to this variable so what does it mean let me try to explain suppose I have selected uh, the John uh, sorry the segment edge extreme so this variable will hold extreme right now I want to calculate my total sales for product segment equals to extreme only it will calculate the total sales for this the selection of your slicer clear now basically next what I want to do I told you that whatever I am selecting I want to take the difference of for the total sales overall suppose this is 100 that is how much take I want to see I want to uh, showcase the difference here right so I will say where v underscore difference okay here what I will do I will take the total sales which is total sales overall minus this one the total sales for segment how much I'm, I'm doing that that I want to just minus it okay now I will return my V difference, v difference. okay let's 
commit to the formula. So, formula is easy. Any questions here? Very simple, right? We are capturing the, the slicer value here. Then I am calculating the total sales based on that. So, the product segment equals to whatever I am selecting. This is per whatever I am selecting that journal, uh, sorry, that segment total sales. Now, I am taking the difference of the total sales minus what I am calculating the total sales per segment. That's it. I am doing it. Okay. Now, what I will do on the chat, let me remove the total sales and bring the total sales by segment. Okay. And put the data levels on for this chart. Whatever. Data levels on. Okay. Now, if you see, I'm selecting something okay extreme let's take select the extreme so now if you see extreme is a zero and others how much difference they are from the extreme that I am getting it here from the total sales 177 million and everything and now this disconnected sizer is not like uh, it is not omitting the selection if I select productivity it is giving me all the segment along with their results right this this concept is called your disconnected slicer you can do one more thing here also like select your uh, your chart go to general somewhere music visual and columns yeah columns and this colors right click on the fx i'll do a conditional formatting here what i'll do based on the rules okay and whatever I calculated here, the major strike, so that is called my total sales by segment, which I am calculating. I say that it should be greater than anything, minimum number and less than zero. If it is greater than anything and less than zero, then it will be a red color. Okay. Just a minus value I am putting in a red color to just to showcase. That's it. Nothing. Now, if you see if I selected the convenience right from the convenience who are negative almost everybody is negative except your uh, moderation so that is the positivity values up here okay this way you can uh, showcase so many things and this is a very important uh, concept in power way to create the disconnected slicer okay hope you like this video do subscribe to this channels for more interesting video like this and do check out my playlist as well one playlist for the next uh, starting end to end there is three chapters right now but this Sunday will be uh, added up another chapter more chapters to so start to end with everything and end up with the project then there is a DAX use cases playlist is there then there is a power query playlist right so do check it out another playlist for the power BI so do check it out and share it across your friend and relatives for more feasibility right and uh, thank you and have a nice day